the governing council today decided to lower the deposit facility rate, the rate through which we steer the monetary policy stance, by 25 basis points. The economy grew by 0.2% in the second quarter after 0.3% in the first quarter, falling short of the latest staff projections. Growth stemmed mainly from net exports and government spending. Private domestic demand weakened as households consumed less, firms cut down business investment, and housing investment dropped. While services supported growth, industry and construction contributed negatively. According to survey indicators, the recovery is continuing to face some headwinds. We expect the recovery to strengthen over time as rising real incomes allow households to consume more. The gradually fading effect of restrictive monetary policy should support consumption and investment. Exports should also continue contributing to the recovery as global demand rises. Inflation could turn out higher than anticipated if wages or profits increase by more than expected. Upside risks to inflation also stem from the heightened geopolitical tensions, which could push energy prices and freight costs higher in the near term and disrupt global trade. Moreover, extreme weather events and the unfolding climate crisis more broadly could drive up food prices.